Welcome to the channel of the Chaos. Today we're going to cover up the disadvantages of file processing system over the related database management system. Now there are many disadvantages. So I'm going to cover up the basic and the most important one. So I'm going to cover up the five major disadvantages of file processing system. Starting with the first one which is the concurrent access anomalies. Now for example, well basically concurrent access means for example you have your database alright and on your table of your data you want to access a particular data but some other user also want to access the same data so basically concurrent access means multiple user accessing the same data at a single time simultaneously so for example there's a table called student and they want to change the percentage of a student so two staff members access the same data, the same table and try to change the percentage. Now in file processing system this is not allowed and it would lead to something called the inconsistent data. Now inconsistent data means an incorrect data and not an accurate data. So that leads to millions of other issues. If you don't have the correct data in your database for example uh, a student may have 20 percent in their SATs and it would get 100 so that would be a really big issue for the staff members not for the student obviously but that would be a really big issue so that is what concurrent access anomalies is basically multiple users try to access the same data at the same time simultaneously basically and then that leads to an error because that leads to an incorrect value an incorrect data so that is what concurrent access anomalies are problems basically then there is the data data redundancy. Excuse me for that. Uh, let's say for uh, retrieving a data in file processing system for retrieving a particular data, you need to write a separate program, which is a pain in the ass. But you have to do that in the well, let's say 30, 40 years ago, in the 1960s, for retrieving a data, you had to use and develop an application program other ways weren't available at that moment so for retrieving the data you had to write a program so for example I am an application program and I, and I write a program to retrieve let's say data from the employee table but for example if some other application programmer wants to retrieve data from the student table he needs to create another application program now it is possible in, in these two both applications the code is very similar. It's obvious that the code is going to be a little similar. There, there are going to be some similarities between them. So that basically leads to us to the reputation of the code. Now reputation of code is nothing but more storage, right? Because we are repeating the same code. For example, in an iPod, you have got a music, all right? But imagine having two music, the same music in your iPod. It's making no sense it's taking your capacity of your iPod away and well you want to have least well you can less amount of storage left in your iPod and that is bad so basically what I'm saying here that the data is getting repeated in the file processing system so reputation of data is what is redundancy okay redundancy is basically the reputation of a particular data now redundancy leads us to more accessing cost and obviously more storage cost so that is what data redundancy is. Repetition of a particular code giving you millions of other problems. All right. And then there is the difficulties in accessing the data. Now here I have, I have to compare with the database management system. In database what you do normally do is write a simple DML statement to retrieve your data. That's it. But in uh, file processing system you had to write an entire application program to retrieve the appropriate data and that was a huge pain in the ass you have to write like 50 60 lines of code just to retrieve your table so there was absolutely no efficient or convenient way to access your data that's a big issue then there is the data isolation now as I told you before there are millions of programmers and they write different code in different structure in different programming languages so the uh, retrieval of the appropriate data is very difficult because they don't know which code to retrieve so they have to go all the way to the code see in what structure and which programming language it is written 
and then write the application program which was again a big problem and then we come to the last issue which is the atomicity problems um, atomicity is basically let's say you're using your processing system and you are updating your data of your student alright you're incrementing the percentage 10% let's say and the system crashes or it gets failed or the electricity goes away and you don't have an uh, UPS with it alright so if that happens you will have an incorrect data for example in database what would happen in this stage it would not change the data but in file processing system it would give you an incorrect value for example if the percentage was 60 it will give you like 99 F G or something rare now in DBMS it just wouldn't change because in DBMS it's do or do not do there's no try alright so this is the difference between the DBMS and the file process system atomicity problems and sorry this was the last one which is the security problems now in a uh, file processing system let's say users can access any part of the database let's say if I if I give a staff member to access uh, only the student table they can access all the all the columns all the attributes at the same time I cannot restrict them from accessing a particular data this is not possible in file processing system but it is possible in database management system that we use today in days so that is basically what security problem is so these has been the disadvantages of file processing system as I told you before in the starting of the video there are many more disadvantages but these are the most basic one and the most let's say the most important disadvantages so anyway this has been a chair of chaos I hope you like this video rate comment and subscribe Thank you very much.